This is a drone video of tract 31 at Hawks Roost. Um, looks like it's going to be a, a nice video here. The ground video was fun on this one. We had some uh, some nice timber, um, pretty good access, uh, just a really solid property. So we're um, maybe 100 feet up and uh, we're at over the south side of the property. We're panning up to the east and there you can see the truck. The truck is at about the southeast corner of the property. Just in the a couple hundred yards in the background, that's Highway 14. So now we're gonna pan to the north and we'll do a fly over here. Um, all the properties at Hawks Roost were logged. Uh, some were logged more heavily than others. Uh, a good portion of this property um, doesn't look like they did much of anything to it. Uh, and then there was some that was very clearly logged, uh, but we didn't see anything that was clear cut. Um, so you're gonna have some type of tree cover on, on much of the property. Here on the south side you can see hundreds of, of large tall trees, a lot of hardwoods, uh, and I do see some cedar and pine as well. Um, so getting probably toward the middle of the property and now we've got almost looks like a, a little cedar grove if you look toward the center of the screen that's interesting. Um, now the topo map indicated uh, potentially a wet weather creek toward the north side of this property and I don't recall if we were able to find that with the drone. I don't know if we went that far or not. I guess we'll see in a moment here. Um, so definitely not a live water creek that runs all year. It probably more a, a creek bed, gravel creek bed that would have water in it after a rainstorm or at certain times throughout the year. Uh, so now we're I guess toward the middle, more toward, toward the north or the middle. Uh, that area looks, uh, it was clearly recently logged. Um, the trees that are sticking up, they've already lost their leaves, and so it gives them kind of a stick-like appearance, but going into the, the springtime, uh, things are going to green up a lot. Uh, the growth is really quick in the Ozarks after a property's been logged, so just within a couple years, um, well, I mean within two years this will look like an, an entirely different property uh, than it does today. Uh, there's that much improvement uh, in the first two years on a property. Um, now we're panning back toward the toward the south. So if you've been looking for a deal on a large property, um, unless you specifically need uh, a huge amount of, of marketable timber, then uh, why pay for it? Um, get this one at a discount and uh, let Mother Nature get some growth under its belt and this is going to be a, a stunning property. Um, the south side really looks great as is. I don't see much need for cleanup on the south side. Um, this had, uh, like I said, uh, good access on that gravel easement road, uh, just a little bit off Highway 14 that gives you some privacy there. So you could build toward the south end uh, where the property is level. It slopes down gradually as you go to the north end, uh, down to that creek bed area. Uh, and then it actually slopes up uh, gradually after that, after that creek bed. Um, so you can build virtually anywhere on the property. I mean, I wouldn't recommend building in the actual creek bed. <laughs> Might be a bad idea, but uh, as soon as you get, you know, 100 feet off that creek bed, you're going to be out of any flood zone. Um, I would sure think so anyway. So, I mean, a lot of nice options on this one. Um, power nearby, phone nearby. Uh, we had good cell service out there with Verizon. Uh, I assume the other carriers would be similar. Uh, so if you've been looking for a, and this is one of the larger tracks uh, out there. I mean, this is kind of, uh, this is right in the side, size range that we have people asking for because uh, it's big enough to, to really hunt it and have a couple different food plots if you wanted. Um, but it's not some monstrous property where you're trying to maintain, you know, 80 acres or 120 acres or something. You can, you can do just about anything you want. You could easily... Uh, have enough acreage to homestead on this one. Uh, so truck parked on the gravel road. I'm not sure what we're up to with the drone here. Trying to avoid tree branches, I guess. That's interesting. Probably could have just cropped this part of the video out. I think, I really think I thought I had the camera off already here. <laughs> oh well. Interesting. So anyway, uh, get a hold of us at instantacres.com. We'd love to talk with you about this property. Uh, as we look to the west, it's on the right side of the road. 
So a, a good portion of the property uh, looks like they didn't log anything. The southeast portion where the truck is parked and then that middle and uh, well, more toward the north, I guess, uh, that's going to require some growth to really get back to, uh, to its uh, beautiful, beautiful self again. Um, oh, video's over. Whoops. <laughs> Check us out at instantacres.com. Uh, we'd love to talk to you about this property if it's still available. And if it's not, we'll find you something that you love. Get a hold of us.